Lost Muscle Car fans, Wes Eisenshank. Gonna crank out a new story for you here in a second, but first click subscribe. I got other videos I've done too. When you're done with this one, take a look at them. You might hold that key to helping someone solve that long lost mystery. But today, we're heading to California. It's 1969 and it's the summer of love, brother. We're looking for a 69 Shelby GT500. Not just any Shelby GT500. The car gifted to Connie Kresge for winning the Playmate of the Year honor. Now, Hugh Hefner had been given previous Playmates of the Year a Playboy Pink car. Now, it could have been a Porsche, it could have been a Pantera, but for 1969, he had a deal worked out with Carol Shelby to give that recipient a Shelby Mustang. So Connie gets this car and immediately there's a Playboy shoot done with the car. It's a very famous shoot, photos circulating all over the place. We know for sure that that car started life in pastel gray. Now, after that, it got painted that, of course, popular color, Playboy pink. There are no candid photos afterwards of Connie enjoying this car, the car out and about in public. It just appears like it's lost. Now, a couple items could have happened there. One, Connie started doing movies, became really busy after her Playmate of the Year honor. Perhaps she just sat in her garage and kind of toiled away. Or two, she traded that car in for some sort of cash equivalent. I'm not sure at this time, best lead we had is in 1982. A person who I personally know who is a Ford collector of muscle cars, Boss 429s, Boss 302s, happened upon this car on a used dealership lot again in 1982. The car was painted yellow. Now, how did he know it was uh, Connie's car? It was of course still wearing its Shelby attire, but painted this bright yellow. When he got inspecting the car, he found pink overspray everywhere on it. So, he kind of already knew this could very likely be Connie Kresge's car. But again, this is 1982. He's hunting Boss 429s, Boss 302s, and the getting's good. He just doesn't have room for this Shelby Mustang in his collection. That's the last clue we have as to whatever happened to this Shelby Mustang. So... I hope you enjoyed this story today. I'm Wes Eisenshank. Again, subscribe. We're going to get more eyes on these videos. We're going to find these cars. So take care and uh, see you next time on Lost Muscle Cars.